Welcome to another episode of Fun with Drilling Engineering. When we are drilling deep boreholes, it can happen that a part of the drill string backs off or twists off and gets lost in the hole. This is a big problem because we need to find a way to retrieve this lost part before we can continue drilling. If anything in the borehole gets stuck or we lose something in the hole, then people say we have a fish in the borehole. Yes, a fish in the borehole. Retrieving a fish from a borehole can be very difficult. But luckily, there are service companies who are specialized in fishing jobs. First, of course, they have to figure out exactly how the fish looks like at its upper end. In many cases, it's useful to inspect the lower end of the retrieved part of the drill string because then you can know how the other part in the borehole looks like. Sometimes, relevant design drawings of the missing part are available for review. Sometimes the fish consists of a failed drill string component, maybe a cone of a roller cone bit, or maybe a scrap part in the borehole which we have no clue how they are shipped. In this case, it helps to run an impression block down in the borehole and then press it onto the fish. This block is made of soft lead and when it is stripped out of the hole to the surface, you can see the negative image of the fish. And once you know how the fish looks like, you can then decide which fishing tool is best to bring it out. In the best case, you have a fish that has an upward pin thread which is still intact. Then you can try to use an appropriate box thread to screw onto the fish and then pull it out. In some cases, if the thread is in a bad condition or damaged, then you can use a kind of thread cutter, as you see here, to latch onto the broken thread, screw it back on, and then salvage the fish out. But sometimes there is no thread at all on the fish. Then you have to think what else can be done. First, you have to consider whether actually the upper end of the fish is accessible and free. If it is not, then you have to use a special washover tool. It looks like a core bit to drill on the outer diameter of the fish to set it free. Should the upper end of the fish be rough or uneven or broken, then we use a dressing mill, yeah, to smoothen it out because a fishing assembly can, of course, be easily attached on a smoother end. After having freed and smoothened the fish, there are various tools from the fishing company that can help us to grasp the fish. The most common tool to catch such a fish is the overshot, as you can see here. The overshot grabs onto the outer diameter of the fish and screws on it. On the inside, the overshot has springs that firmly tighten onto the fish and so it can easily be pulled out of the borehole. If the outer diameter is not accessible, then we have spears, which can grab onto the inner diameter of the fish. Yes, this is possible, but on the inner diameter, the grip is of course weaker than on the outside, which makes fishing in this way a bit more difficult. And if you cannot grab the fish on its inner or outer diameter, because, for example, it's like a steel ball or some uncommon scrap part or something else. Then you could probably try to stir up the fish with a drilling mold and then catch it in a junk basket. A junk basket is like a trash can which is run in the drill string. And we hope to catch the scrap parts in the basket. Or you go down in with a downhole magnet and hope that the scrap part gets stuck onto the magnet while you gently pull it back to the surface. Cables, wires, and things like that are also very difficult to fish from the borehole. But again, our fishing specialists have developed specialized tools which can be twisted and tangled around the cable, hoping that somehow it hooks on to them. Yes, fishing in the borehole is just like fishing in a lake or river. It takes a lot of experience, a lot of patience, and also a lot of luck. If you still want to know more about fishing operations during deep drilling, come to our lecture, Drilling Engineering 2, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Click off.